Hello, my name is Alicia and I'm a community nutrition educator at the Food Bank of Delaware. In each video, I will be highlighting a produce item and an easy recipe that you can make right in your kitchen. Today I will be talking about zucchini, which is part of the vegetable group of my plate. Zucchini is a type of summer squash, and in the United States it is best to harvest it between July and September. They also might be a good try for kids who are usually picky eaters and snub vegetables. One of the benefits of zucchini is that it is mild in flavor but thick in texture. This allows it to be a great substitute for pasta in some recipes. If you are not familiar with zucchini, you can bake a few slices for about 15 minutes and add a little bit of oil and some seasoning. The ripeness of zucchini is evidenced by its dark green color. Spoilage appears as black spots with or without dents and if minimal can be sliced off after rinsing. If you are having trouble telling the difference between cucumbers and green zucchini, feel free to take into account the color and the texture. Cucumbers tend to be a darker green and a bumpier texture, and zucchinis tend to be a lighter green with long strips of white and a smoother texture. They also tend to have small round stems at the end. Zucchini are also a good source of vitamin C and potassium. Vitamin C is good for the immune system and potassium is good for maintaining healthy blood pressure. Now we will move on to our recipe. Today we will be making zucchini fritters. This is a nice easy recipe that you can have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The zucchini recipe will require one large zucchini, which we will grate, one half cup of shredded cheese, one half cup seasoned breadcrumbs, one egg, garlic powder, black pepper, and if you have it, Parmesan cheese. First, after rinsing off the zucchini, we will slice off both ends and then slice away any spoiled parts. Use a cheese grater to grate the zucchini. After transferring the grated zucchini to a bowl, pat it with a paper towel to remove the excess water. Then mix in the additional ingredients. ingredients together. If you find that the mixture is too thick, feel free to add an extra egg. If you find that it is not thick enough, feel free to add some extra breadcrumbs. Then form the mixture into patties of desired size. Then in a greased heated pan, Place each of the patties and allow them to cook for about one minute on each side. That wraps up this week's lesson and demonstration. I hope that you've learned something new today and can try this recipe at home. This video, along with other nutrition materials and recipes, is available on our website at www.fbd.org or check us out on social media. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.